All right, cool guys, let's get to it. So here's, here's why we're even doing those calls. So it's an experiment to basically get you guys who are interested in acquisitions and perhaps are not yet 100% committed to doing your own deals or becoming the CEO of a business. Maybe you just want to go out there, find deals and make money. And you don't necessarily want to run the business and go through the full process yourself. You don't want to raise capital. You don't want to deal with all the nuances of eventually growing a business and operating a business and hiring a team and firing a team and whatnot. This is an opportunity for people who also perhaps don't have the capital to join one of our programs, one of our accelerators to work with us to do your own deals. But this is an opportunity for me to create goodwill in the market by allowing you guys to literally just find deals and get paid for finding those deals. By the way, I'm, my name is Moran. I'm the founder and CEO of acquisitions.com. We're right now the largest community of MA entrepreneurs and investors. So we have a lot of people in our community that are looking to buy businesses, which means that if you find a good deal that is potentially someone who's looking to sell their business, we can one, either basically introduce them to someone in our community who is looking to buy and you can get paid commission for introducing that deal. And I'll walk through some of the steps of what that can look like and what are some of the steps. And second of all, this year, we are looking to invest ourselves into companies and to um, potentially even create roll-ups. And I'll expand more about that. And today I want to expand, for those of you who are on the first call, I want to expand on progress from the first call, which led me to right now, basically open up the idea of all of us being more focused on one or two sectors, if you feel like that would be valuable. It's not necessarily a must, but since the last call, um, I received access to a lot of very interesting deals. One of them is actually in the marketing sector. I had few people reached out to me and basically they have access to marketing companies that are interested in either selling or growing. And what we can potentially do is merge all those companies together into a new company that will then sell as a group or take it public. So one of the things that we can do as scouts is potentially just align everyone who's here on the call and potentially other people are inside our Facebook group and find deals for that specific sector. Um, and I'm sharing that specific sector just because that's the sector where um, we received the most amount of deals um, in the last month. Overall, I don't care necessarily about one sector, but what I would like ideally is that if this is something you want to do, I don't want you to commit to just one deal because if you want to get us excited, we want to ideally get into a niche where you can find either a few deals that we can buy or merge. Yeah, just find one deal in a sector that we're interested in. That's why I'm sharing today the marketing sector. Another sector is actually uh, the Amazon um, FBA sector. So I saw someone here in the chat that says that he's already aggregating uh, those businesses. So that's a very interesting sector for us. And today I'm going to share with you a little bit what that looks like, how you can get paid, where to find those deals. I even um, asked one of the best scouts uh, from the last month that basically sent a lot of those deals to record a short video on how he found a lot of those deals. So I'll share that later in the call. What you can do is go and talk to business owners and tell them, hey, Anyone you know might be interested in selling or getting access to capital and potentially then uh, do an IPO to grow faster together. Or would you or anyone you know might be open or like the idea of joining a group of companies to grow faster and increase everyone's value. All right, so that's kind of like the elevator pitch that you can uh, create. Even if you want to expand on it, you can say something like, hey, look, we're looking to consolidate a fragmented high touch industry. Uh, we want to streamline operations. We want to promote cross business, divisional collaboration. And we want to leverage the power of larger pro forma networks or just larger companies. All right. Do you have a set of criteria uh, that deals need to match or exceed? Okay. This is a good question. So if we are all going to make a focus specialized in the marketing space and marketing companies can be any type of marketing companies can be. Um, you know, a lot of there's a lot of type of marketing companies out there. There's SEO marketing and pay-per-click and social media and content creation and Facebook ads and Google ads and all those different services or video marketing or, you know, all those different services that all have basically a lot of different companies that have different focuses. So 
The way that I see that is eventually, if we can build a group that can make few million in EBITDA, that is the goal here. So now the question is, okay, if we're building a group of few companies that overall are doing few million in EBITDA in pre-tax profits, what one company value need to look like? So I would say that ideally it's doing it more than 500,000 in EBITDA, let's say on the low end, more than 300,000 in EBITDA, no less than that. Eventually we could find smaller deals, but right now it makes no sense for the funding groups, right? And the way to pitch it to them is to tell them again, we are looking to consolidate um, the industry, right? And we want to create basically collaboration between businesses and just to, we want to also give you as a business owner, the power to focus on operating and growing the business while we handle all the other stuff. So that, that will open another question. Do we want people who want to sell their business? Or we want people who will stay. Well, it can be either. Ideally, we want people who want to stay for at least three years before they leave. They need to expect to at least stay for one year for the um, transition period. Any specific geographic location, Vidas is asking. So let's focus on US, UK, Canada, and Australia. Okay. Do you have deal criteria you can share? So I just shared. Uh, so it's at least 300, ideally 400, 500,000 plus in pre-tax profits in EBITDA. So commission structure. And last time I shared it based on assuming you're bringing a million dollar in EBITDA, you'll get $100,000 in commission. That's the current commission. Basically on every million in EBITDA, you'll get $100,000 as soon as we close on things. Uh, great question. Um, no. We're not looking for deals from brokers because uh, then uh, we don't need scouts. <laughs> we can just reach out to those brokers directly and we, we all already have access to them. So they got to be off market deals. Off market deals means that you're reaching out to those business owners directly, um, either through your network that I shared in the first webinar. All right. So in terms of multiples, so let me share with you on how to position that, right? Uh, when it comes to multiples in general and how to uh, pitch things. The way you pitch into them is you basically tell them, look, um, we will take over your back office costs as well as the idea of them joining a group is basically to allow them to also partner with other brands in the business to collaborate on larger projects. Because the larger network, imagine if we have SEO agency, and then we have social media agency, and then we have pay-per-click agency, and we put them all in one company. Now that company create, can create a much more compelling pitch to like a multinational brand and could theoretically run all of their ad campaign on a, you know, multiple global locations. So it's very valuable to be part of a group, um, for example, in the marketing space. And it's pretty much the pitch that, you know, Warren Buffett is giving companies like, hey, well, invest and you don't need to worry about like the SEC reporting or anything like that. You can just focus on operating your business. So I think it's a very compelling pitch. Um, especially when we can go and tell them, hey, we will pay you a bit above fair market valuation. And ideally, I mean, you could leave. I'm, I'm talking about you talking to the business owner. You can tell them you can leave in one year. Ideally, we want people who want to say at least three years uh, before they leave. Let's say that the market will pay them two, three times X or multiples. We could give them a higher valuation, assuming that they will be willing to join us on a group and sell the group as a whole or take it public as a whole. And again, you as the scout will get 10% of EBITDA in cash or shares in the business, um, up to you as we close the deal. Um, and of course, their shares, if they join a group, will become much more valuable over time as soon as we acquire more and more companies, right? So we overall increase the overall uh, value of each share, which means that every company will be worth much more for the same amount of EBITDA that they're making. And of course, they'll have bonuses and whatnot. And if we decide to take that public, that cost could come from us, from acquisition.com if we decide to take it on us, right? So, and that can be a quite expensive uh, process. So the goal is let's build a group of companies, get to five, 10 million of EBITDA as soon as possible, and then try to do something cool with it. So, sounds like a deal, guys. Can you break down the commission structure for 305,000? dollars yeah so on every one million dollar in EBITDA that you'll bring you'll get hundred thousand dollars in commission so basically ten percent of EBITDA so if it's five hundred thousand that's fifty if a company owner asks how much do you want to buy this company for how do we answer them yeah so tell them we will put a value that is more than the market value on your business right so 
you guys need to understand if we're putting a group and they need to understand they're not getting paid right away does everyone understand that because it will take us at some time to put the group together right it can take a few weeks few months obviously if we're going to take it public it can take about a year to go through things and audit financials and whatnot i don't want to overwhelm you guys but the way to share it is like look we're, we're putting a group together we'll value you at let's say five time x on your ebitda and then when we sell the group as a whole because we now have a larger group we can sell it for eight ten or more right depends on the size of the business if you're going to take it public it and be even um, larger stanford is saying are we looking only for amazon or marketing businesses so in the first call last month i said hey i'm open to look at any deals but because in the last month i mostly received businesses from the marketing in amazon space i thought it, it might be a good idea to get everyone focused and just narrow down your sectors and you're only looking for businesses directly I'm not looking, guys, please don't send me links to bizbysell.com and tell me, Imran, here's the deal. Where's my commission? Please. Like, you're all intelligent. I'm looking for people to reach out to businesses directly, not through a broker. I can just go to bizbysell myself, right, guys? I don't need a third party to go through that. Uh, how do you want business information presented to you via email? Very good question. Ideally, have at least one conversation with the business owner yourself. I want you to be involved, guys. Like you need to show that you're doing the work, like build some rapport with the business owner. Like again, go through the first call recording. And I think that will give you a good idea because I gave some scripts there and whatnot and what to say. I want you to have a conversation with the business owner. Tell them, look, I'm representing this fund that is looking to roll up companies in, in the marketing space. Uh, they'll give you value of at least five times of, of about, I don't tell them at least, tell them of about five times or whatever is above market value for a business like yours. Guys, and please write those notes down and post them after this interview if you can. All right, so we'll give you that, that value. And the goal is to then sell the group as a whole or take the group public. Would you be interested in the conversation, right? Then have a call with them. Ask them, what do you, what do you want to do? What is your goal? What you're up to, uh, where do you want to be in a year, three, five, ten years from now? What's holding you back from getting there on your, on your own? Who is the owner? Who's the shareholder? Is it just you? Do you have partners? How much money did the business make in the last 12 months? Cool. How much in revenues? How much in profits? What's the EBITDA? Okay. What do you think that the business is worth? Did you ever try to sell the business? Did you ever receive an offer to sell the business? All right, cool. So with that being said, um, I think there, we might be able to do here something. I'm happy to sign an NDA so you feel comfortable sharing your financials. Um, then you can send in an NDA. Again, I, I shared in the Facebook group um, a template, I believe, for an NDA. And you tell them I need access to uh, some basic financials and then we can take it from there. And then I want to get access to uh, the financials, ideally, and I want to get answers to those questions. Those who are out there and will be committed and do the work, I'll try to engage with you as much as I can to support you and we'll do more of those scout calls if needed.